Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D, and this tutorial will be going over inheritance and app shop classes and methods. Um, the first thing we're going to go over is um, app shop classes. So let's go ahead and create a new class here. And let's call this class a shape. This is going to be our generic class for all the shapes that we're going to define. Alright, so it gives us our basic template here. Now we're going to say public, instead of public class, we're going to say public abstract class. And all this is saying is that within this class, we're going to sort of define things, but not actually define everything. You can if you want, but then what's the point of having it abstract? Um, so let's go ahead and create two properties here that every shape is going to have. Uh, let's do public int and let's do uh, position and then public int and let's do size so there's two properties I know every shape is going to have then let's go ahead and define um, uh, one function here but not actually define it we're just going to say what it is but not what it does so we're going to do public and say abstract and so public abstract and it won't return anything so void and let's do render so we have this method that we don't have defined here and it basically it's render it renders something but we don't have the actual code for it so now we have our abstract class shape we can't actually go back in our application and just say now we want to implement that abstract class it won't allow us to actually um, create it because it has to be a concrete class eventually so let's go ahead and create another class here that will inherit the abstract class and let's name this class rectangle so now we have our template here it says public class rectangle and the way we inherit is simply typing right after rectangle implement or extends and then we type in our class that we want to extend with is shapes so now we have it and if you notice the uh, NetBeans IDE is going to throw an error saying uh, hello world rectangle is not abstract and does not override the render in hello world shape so that basically it's saying that because we define an abstract method and we're saying that we are extending the shape we actually have to now define the method that we had so let's go ahead and define it, say public um, void and render and then we can just simply add brackets and the code will go here and you get this nice little icon saying implements method render of interface uh, shape and that's the basics of an abstract class method inheritance you don't have to have abstract classes in order to extend them you can also extend other classes so let's say that we have our rectangle here and we want it to make a new class say and it's going to be called rounded rectangle and then we can simply type extends and the rectangle and then we can add more properties and more functions and so on that's somewhat of a way of doing multiple um, inheritance there's other ways to do it but it gets really complex and confusing and it's not really good for Java anyways um, since it implements it not so well that's pretty much it for this tutorial on interface or not interfaces but um, inheritance abstract classes and methods